Hello dear students, good afternoon. Today we are going to see addition of integers. So, you already learned about integers, right? You already learned about integers and negative integers also. Now we are going to see addition of integers. What happens when we are adding two integers? Okay. So before studying this addition of integers, let me ask you, all of you know what you mean by a number line? What do you mean by a number line? It is simply a line. Okay. A line and it will consist of several numbers. Okay. Both negative and positive integers. Okay. This is a number line. And let us represent this as 0. Okay. And here there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And to this side, what will be the, this is a number line. So, near to this 0, there will be minus 1. And here there will be minus 2. Here there will be minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Minus 7, etc. Here also, etc. So, a number line will consist of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to that side. And minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, etc. to this side. That is negative integers will be present here. And positive integers will be present here. Okay, this is what a number line. Now let us see how we can add two integers. So first of all for that let's take one example. Let us add 5 to minus 7. Okay. We are going to add 5 to minus 7. We are going to add this 5 to this number. So we are going to add 5 to this number. Isn't it? So what you have to do? You have to take this minus 7. Where is minus 7? Here. Isn't it? Minus 7 is here. And now you are going to add 5. 5 means what? It is a positive number. It is a positive integer. Okay. There is no minus sign here. So 5 is a positive number. So since 5 is a positive number, you can move to right side. Okay. Since 5 is a positive number, you are moving 5 places to right side. Okay. So minus 7 is here. So we will start from this minus 7. This is the starting position. Minus 7. Because we are adding 5 to minus 7. So the starting position will be minus 7. And you are going to add 5. And 5 is a positive number. Since 5 is a positive number, we can move to right side by 5 places. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where we have reached? We have reached minus 2. Okay. So, what will be the answer? If we are adding 5 to minus 7, we will get what? Minus 2. So, what we can say? We are moving to right side. Okay. We are moving to right side here. Okay. And we will get minus 2. Here we will stop. Okay. We will start from here. And after moving 5 places, we will stop here. And we will get minus 2. Okay. This is how we are adding 2 integers on a number line. Okay. Now we are going to do the reverse thing. That is, we are going to add minus 7 to 5. Okay. So, we are adding minus 7 to which number? To this number. So, this will be the starting point. So, the starting point is what? 5. 5 will be the starting point. So, how? Okay. So, suppose this is the number line. And what we are doing? We are going to add minus 7 to 5. Okay. So, since we are adding minus 7 to 5, this 5 will be the starting point. Okay. So, this 5 will be the starting point. Start. Okay. And we are adding minus 
7. In the earlier case, it was 5. So, we move to right side. But here, minus 7 means what? It is a negative integer. So, since it is a negative integer, we want to move to which side? Left side. Left side by how much places? We want to move the left side by 7 places. Okay? Since here we are adding minus 7 or a negative integer to any number, we have to move to which side? To left side. Okay? By how much places? 7 places. So, starting from 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Where we have reached? We have reached minus 2. So, minus 2 will be the answer. And we have to stop here. So, we are moving here to left side. Okay? You understood? So, what is the difference here? Whenever we are adding a positive integer to another integer, we want to move to which side? To right side. Okay? And whenever we are adding a negative integer like this, you have to move to which side? To left side. Okay? In this way, you will get the answer. That is, whenever you want to add a positive integer, you want to move to right side and whenever you are you want to add a negative integer you want to move to left side okay we can do one more example so this is our next question add minus 2 to 4 okay, we are going to add minus 2 to which number to 4 okay so whether minus 2 is a positive or negative integer yes minus 2 is a negative integer since minus 2 is a negative integer, you have to move to which side? You have to move to left side. Okay. So, let's draw the number line. So, suppose this is the number line. So, where you have to start? You have to start from where? You have to start from this number that is 4. So, you can start from here. This is the start position. Okay. And... Since minus 2 is a negative number, you have to move to left side. Left side means what? This side. You have to move to left side. Okay. By how much places? By 2 places since it is minus 2. So, by moving left side by minus 2 means what? 1, 2. You reached here. So, this is the stop position. So, the answer is when you are adding minus 2 to 4, what you will get? You will get 2 as the answer. So, there are some rules while adding 2 integers. Okay, let's see that rules. So, in the first case, we were adding add 5 to minus 7. Okay, this was our question. So, what is here? 5 and minus 7. What is, what is the meaning of add 5 to minus 7? Minus 7, you have to add 5. Okay, minus 7 plus 5. Okay, this is the meaning of what? Add 5 to minus 7, isn't it? So, what is the sign of this minus 7 negative sign? And what is the sign of this plus? What is the sign of this 5? There is no sign. Means what? Plus sign. So, this is negative sign and this is positive sign. So, two different signs, isn't it? So, if you are adding two integers that have got opposite signs, then what happens? Then you have to just take the difference or you have to just subtract the numbers. Okay, you have to just subtract the numbers. Means what? You have to subtract 7 and 5. Then what happens? 7 and Minus 5 equal to what? 2. Okay. Then what you have to do? And what will be the sign of this answer? You have to put the sign of the greatest number. Okay. 7 and 5. Which is the greater integer? Greater integer is 7. So what is the sign of this 7? It is negative. So the answer also will be negative sign. Okay. So, minus 7 plus 5 equal to minus 2. Have you got it? That is 
if you have got two integers with different sign or with opposite sign that is one is plus and another one is minus then what you have to do you have to just subtract the two numbers so if you are subtracting the two numbers what you will get 7 minus 5 what is the answer it is 2 so you have to write 2 here then the sign of answer will be what the sign of the greater number in these two numbers, which is the greater number? It is 7. So, what is the sign of 7? It is negative sign. So, you have to put this negative sign here. Understood. Let us take any other example. So, let us take this example. Add minus 3 to 7. This is the question. So, you have to add minus 3 plus what? 7. This is the question. Okay, you have to add minus 3 and 7. So, you can see that it, it have got two different signs. That is one is negative and one is positive. So, what you have to take? You have to take the difference of these two numbers. Difference means what? You have to subtract these two numbers. So, what is 7 minus 3? 7 minus 3 equal to 4. Okay. Then you have to put the sign of what? You have to put the sign of greater number. Which number is greater? 3 or 7? Seven? 7 is greater. What is the sign of this 7? Sign of 7 is positive. No sign means what? Positive. So, answer will be also positive. That is plus 4. Okay. So, this is how you are doing addition of integers. So, now let's see what happens when you are adding to Negative integers. Okay. Now you are going to add minus 3 to minus 2. So how you are going to add this using a number line? Which number you should write first? You have to write this. Which What will be the starting point? Starting point will be minus 2. So suppose this is the number line. So which is the starting point? You already know when we are adding minus 3 to minus 2, what will be the starting point? This will be the starting point. Okay. So, what? Minus 2 is the starting point. Here you are going to start. And you are adding minus 3 to minus 2. Okay. So, minus 3 means what? Negative integer. If it's negative integer means you have to move to which side? To left side. So, you have to move to left side. Okay. By how much places? Three places. So, one, two, three. Three places. So, when you are adding minus three to minus two, here you have to stop. That is what will be the answer. Answer is when minus three plus minus two equal to what? Minus five. Okay. Understood. So, what is the meaning? When you are adding two negative integers, that is add minus 3 to minus 2 means what? You are adding one negative integer and another negative integer. So, you are adding two negative integers. Okay. That is minus 3 is a negative integer and minus 2 is also a negative integer. So, you are adding two negative integers. So, when you are adding two negative integers, what you have to do? You have to just add these two numbers. Okay, without considering the sign, you have to add these two numbers. Then what you will get? 3 plus 2 means what? 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay, so 3 plus 2 equal to 5 and you have to put the negative sign. Okay, so when you are adding two negative integers, you have to just add the numbers and put a negative sign. Okay. That is the thing we are getting from this addition. Let's take any other example and see. So, the question is to add minus 3 to minus 7. So, that means what? Minus 3 plus minus 7. Okay. So, this is a negative integer. And this is a negative integer. So, when you are adding two negative integers, what you have to do? You have to add these two numbers. So, 3 plus 7. What is 3 plus 7? That is equal to 10. And you have to put a negative sign. So, minus 3 plus minus 7 will be equal to what? Minus 10. 
Understood. So this is how you are adding two negative integers. In the previous case, we were discussing about adding a positive integer and a negative integer. And here we are discussing how to add two negative integers. Understood. So now we are going to summarize all the things that we have discussed by taking these examples and you have to answer these questions. Okay. So what we are doing here? We are adding 1 plus minus 3. What is the meaning of that? We are adding a positive integer to a negative integer. So I have already told you when you are adding a positive integer to a negative integer, what you have to do? You have to just subtract the numbers and put the sign of the largest number. Okay, so you have to just subtract these numbers means what? 3 minus 1. What is 3 minus 1? 3 minus 1 is 2. So you can write here 2. And you have to put the sign of which number? The largest number. So, 1 or 3, which is largest? 3. So, what is the sign of this 3? It is minus. So, we have to put minus in the answer. So, answer will be minus 2. Understood. Now, what is the next question? Next question is minus 2 plus minus 7. Okay. So, here you are adding 2 negative integers. Okay. Minus 2 is a negative integer. And minus 7 is a negative integer. So when adding two negative integers, what you have to do? You have to just add the numbers. Okay? You have to just add the numbers. Adding the numbers means what? 2 plus 7. What is 2 plus 7? 2 plus 7 is 9. Okay? 2 plus 7 equal to 9. And you have to put what? You have to put a negative sign. Okay, so minus 2 plus minus 7 equal to minus 9. Okay, so that is the answer. Now what is the next question? Here again you are adding a negative integer and a positive integer. Whenever you are adding a negative and a positive integer or opposite signs, whenever you are adding what you have to do, you have to just subtract the numbers and put the sign of the largest number. So, subtracting 2 and 1 means what will be the answer? Answer will be 1. And you have to put the sign of largest number. Here the largest number is 2. So, what is the sign of 2? Sign of 2 is minus. So, in the answer you will get what? Minus. So, minus 1 will be the answer. And here what you are doing? Plus 3 plus plus 4. This is simple. 3 plus 4 means what? 7. So, this will be the answer. Okay. This is how you are doing addition of integers. I hope you understood how we can add two integers.